here, look, today I rise can I here, look, to raise the issue of school transport and particularly school transport in rural areas. And I raise the issue in the context of eligible students uh, being refused uh, a seat on the bus, on the school bus, and particularly eligible uh, students who don't know their exam, who are repeating their leave insert, and obviously don't know their exam results until after the deadline for the school transport application. So I have people who decide to uh, repeat their leave inserts, and well done to them, but who now cannot get a seat on the bus. Now I don't know what the school transport system in North Korea is, but I would ask that Minister Halligan look at this because there's cases that are going from the Department of Transport to the Department of Education and back again. And in the meantime, we have young people trying to access education in rural areas who cannot get the transport that they're told that they're eligible for. And it's not because a bigger bus isn't available, because the bigger bus is available, but they're saying that it's too costly to give the child who's eligible. So I would ask for Ms. Ms. Minister Halligan to come into the House here and to have the debate on school transport again and to look at these anomalies where people are being deprived uh, access and transport to schools because it's not only affecting the students themselves, it's affecting the whole of the family and in some cases you have where the siblings um, are on the bus but the other sibling isn't allowed to go on the bus and then you have the situation where mothers or fathers have to give up their job in order to be able to drive the child to school. So this is a really, really serious issue in rural areas and I would like it to be addressed immediately. So I would ask as a matter of urgency leader that Minister Halgan could come in here and give us answers to some of these questions to avoid parents from being sent to Billy to Jack and not getting any answers on it. Thank you, Cahirlach.